Hey there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip. I'm solving a log equation here. We're looking for t here. Log equation is one of those weird things at the beginning. But the minute you recognize that log, it's really just opposite of exponential, much like multiplication is opposite of division, adding is opposite of subtraction. And then you take the mystery out of logarithm. So the way we're treating logarithm is this. We're going to rewrite it into the exponential form. Exponential form is always look a lot more friendlier, at least to me, than logarithm. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to keep the same base. We we'll call this one the base. The one sits on the bottom as the shoe is the base. Okay, and then you're going to swap those two in that whatever is on the right hand side of the equal sign that's against the log becomes your hat, thus exponentials, and then you're going to have the equal to whatever number you swapped over. Okay, let's repeat quickly. Keep the same base, swap whatever you have on the opposite side of equal sign, put on the hat, thus becoming exponential. Okay, here's the log, here's exponential, and then whatever you have written before near the log, put on the other side. That's all you have to do. Okay, from here we're solving an exponential equation, and it's a lot easier to solve. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by minus 6 over 5 power. And that looks really weird. We're not accustomed to have a fractional exponents, but hey, math is weird anyway. So let's go along with it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the right hand side. So long I do the similar or actually not even similar, exact operation on both sides of the equal sign, I'm safe. In the legal jargon of mathematics, we're keeping the equality, all right? So from here, the property says that if you have two exponents, one after the other one on the hat position, you just multiply them. Then t gets liberated by itself, and then now all we have to do is simplify this ugly thing on this side. It does look kind of ugly. Okay, the thing you recognize for this one is you have to remember someone somewhere along the way made up saying square root of x is really x to the one half power. Someone else could have very well made a different rule, but this is what everyone else is doing. So unless you're willing to go around and teach your own brand of math, you're stuck with someone else's invention. All right, so over here, what we're going to do is 243, I'm going to write it into minus 1, because that's 1 over. Get this whole thing to the minus 6 over 5. Okay, I promise, it'll look a lot better after we get done. Uh, this minus 1 times this 1 becomes a positive 6 over 5. Now I'm going to use the property I discussed over here. Someone else made up this rule. So I'm going to do it 243, and whatever is on the bottom, I'm going to put it outside. And then I'm going to take the whole thing to the 6th power. The reason I don't want to do the 6th power inside is, I don't know about you, 243 to the 6th power, that's a big number. We don't like big numbers. I don't like big numbers. It's tedious to work. Now here, we're looking for a number that duplicated 5 times on its own becomes 243. And I'll tell you a trick. Um, those type of exponentials, teachers, very rarely give you numbers other than 3, 2, and 5. Okay, so have those numbers in your pockets, that would help. 3 multiplied by itself 5 times is equal to 243. And how do I know it? Well, uh, experience. This is 9, this is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 3, it's 243. All right, so 3 to the 6th power, and as I promised, the final answer is much prettier. And um, as a matter of fact, it's 729. Now, I don't have this one memorized. I actually use the calculator. All right. So this is how we solve a log equation. Put it into the exponentials, and your headache should be mostly over. All right. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube, and let me know if you liked it or if it helped you. Till next time. Have a confident day.